Are they in my mailbox? Oh, we're at Reagan Town Council meeting Tuesday, September 3rd, 7.02 p.m. Roll call. Preble? Here. Prasanti? Here. Candy Davis? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Here. Burdick? Here. That's that of budget allegiance. Only the other side start that. But the legions to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, my nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The meeting notice was posted on Friday, August 30th at the library, the city hall, the post office, and the website. Thank you. Also, acceptance of agenda. No vote. I'll second. Open the session for two minutes. I think it's sent the agenda. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor, city by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Personal characters from on agenda item. Uh, as you stated earlier, there's going to be a statement, but there's nobody in the audience, so we'll move on to the minutes from 19th. I'll make motion to approve the minutes. I'll second to Motion to second to approve the August 19th minutes. Any corrections or additions? Let's see. Yeah. Was this one, was this one to have two earlier, Jim? Yeah. yeah. Um, well, we all know the date, but yeah. he says excuse him and Jim, and we're not. We were. Yeah. Um, the fifth you were missing, but. The fifth we were gone, the 19th we were both here. Yeah. So that should be the 19th up above there, I believe. And excuse should be crossed off so that you are here. They're down with us, too. We're here. If I was here, then it was a long ago when my absence took place. So, do you get a motion on that? No. Yeah. And so now, you mean you, you, you amended? You say it as amended. As amended. Yeah. As amended. Now, second. Okay, any, anything else on there? Not all those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Committee reports, finance. Finan finance met uh, this evening at 6.30. I'll make a motion to approve the pay request number three for BKS excavating for the Albion Street Utility and Street Improvement Project in the amount of $165,952.52. I'll second it. Motion a second to pay BKS. Any discussion? I think there was plenty of finance on that. There was plenty. Yeah, I mean, all, I think we all agree that that was a yeah, Something needs to be done next time. We we do liquid liquidated damages. That was your call. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Have we been storing that up so far? Are we what? Have we been keeping track of that oh, yeah. so far? We got okay. yeah. And I understand we had Cedar keeping track of. Some of the things issues also, so we've got a good record of it. We can show it the next time if they do bid something, right? Correct. Just for a little more background information, information uh, they were contracted to paint the parking stalls and the curbs on Henry Street. It's not done yet. Oh, give them time. <laughs> Maybe we can do them together next year when this was repainted. <laughs> Would it be possible in a moment to get a copy of that contract for our next meeting? Yes, it's a very big document. Okay. So I can we can email a digital version, okay, but it's on a hard copy, it's like so. Uh, yes, it's so, a bit like simpler. But I know that we yes. as council we had something that kind of fits. I, I'm just curious about just for when number four comes up, just to kind of have some background. As yeah, as well. I mean, there's like a, the actual like agreement is a matter of pages. The contract document itself is very thick, but we certainly can provide you with the agreement. I got the agreement. Okay. All right. Any other discussion? I just I just want to say if we have our ducks in a row for any of the down the road. We we can assess liquidated damages. Um I have uh, the contract language with me. I think it's a thousand a day for uh um tailage meets substantial completion. <laughs> Excuse me, they are about a half a month past substantial completion uh deadline. It was the 16th and they completed on the 30th. Um, yes, uh, I don't know if there are any other milestones that they didn't meet 
but uh, certainly you can uh, hold that back. Uh, and if you do, they have a right to contest it. Uh, but if they don't, uh, it's just money off the top. For me, may I ask, can this affect future bidding? <laughs> well, I, I think the question is, uh, you know, you have to award to the lowest responsible bidder. Um, they are often the lowest. Uh, the question becomes, are they responsible? And I think that we can make a good case that we've had enough problems with them in the past uh, that uh, they perhaps are not responsible. So we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Annette. I was going to ask them on to see why they were still able to do that under what we're discussing here. But uh, <laughs> anyone else? Okay. Motion and a second to. PP request number three, roll call. Shaw? Yes. Preble? Yes. Prisanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Verdict? Yes. Motion passes. Make a motion to approve bills and payroll in the amount of $809,963.27. I'll second. Motion and second to pay the bills. Any questions on those bills? It's just one comment on it. And we're, we're, I see we're paying Tar County for the work that we're here. And, uh, it's nice to have somebody that can actually come in and get a job done well <laughs> and within range and what only 5600 bucks over so that's not bad and the timeline I, I it's nice to have somebody do a good job yeah they were very easy to work with yeah very good thank you that's all anything else roll call shaw yes preble yes Crisanti. yes candy davis yes paul davis yes verdict yes motion passes Make a motion to approve the change order number one for Arch Electric for solar installations, which increases the uh, uh, in the amount of seven thousand and twenty-seven dollars and thirty cents for a total of one hundred and ninety-nine thousand eight hundred and eighty-two dollars and four cents, with the funding source being ARPA. I'll second that. Motion be second to approve the change order for Arch Electric. Any discussion? Hearing none. We'll call. Shaw. Yes. Preble? Yes. Prasanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Verdict? Yes. Motion passes. Make a motion to approve uh, the computer backup services with computer know how for our four servers, for three PCs that are not on the network, and our email system. I'll second. Motion and second to contract amendment. Funding for the computer. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, let me, and I did mention that it is uh, going to be coming out of contingency for 2024 and will turn into operating expense for moving forward. Approve <coughs> the funding for the computer backup services. Any discussion? Any none? Roll call. Shaw? Yes. Preble? Yes. Crisanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Verdict? Yes. Motion passes. Make a motion to approve the contract amendment for the clerk of court fee uh, to increase the fee for uh, in the amount of $100 per month. I'll second that. Motion to second to approve the contract amendment for the clerk of court fee. Any discussion? 2009, seriously? It's 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Okay, roll call. Shaw? Yes. Preble? Yes. Crisanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Preble? Yes. Motion Make a motion to approve City of Edgerton Resolution 20 24, resolution authorizing the issuance and sale of up to $1,273,440 uh, taxable general obligation water system promissory notes, series 2024B and providing for other details and covenants with respect thereto. I'll second that. Motion and second to approve the City of Edgerton Resolution 2024. Any discussion? Any none? We'll call. Shaw? Yes. Preble? Yes. Crisanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Verdict? Yes. Motion passes. I'll make a motion to approve the contract with Quarles and Brady for the safe drinking water loan for the replacement of public and private lead service lines. I'll second. Motion and a second to approve the contract with Quarles and Brady. Any discussion? Hearing none, roll call. Shaw? Yes. Preble? Yes. Crisanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Yeah. Verdict? Yes. Motion passed. 
Make a motion to approve the financial assistance agreement for project number 4800-08, lead service lateral replacement project. I'll second. Motion to second. Approve the financial assistance agreement. Any discussion? Is there any none? Roll call. Shawa? Yes. Preble? Yes. Prasanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Let's make a motion to approve City of Edgerton Resolution 21-24, resolution authorizing the issuance and sale of up to $330,882 general obligation water system promissory notes, series 2024A, and providing for other details and covenants with respect thereto. I'll second. Motion and second. Move City of Edgerton Resolution 21-24. Any discussion? In um, roll call. Shaw? Yes. Preble? Yes. Cristanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Verdict? Yes. Yes. Approve, uh, make motion to approve the contract with Quarles and Brady for the safe drinking water loan for the Quigley Street Utility and Street Improvement Project. I'll second. Motion to second. Approve my contract with Quarles and Brady. Any discussion? In the roll call. Shaw? Yes. Preble? Yes. Prasanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Yes. Make a motion to approve the financial assistance agreement for project number 4800-03, Quigley Street Utility and Improvement Project. I'll second. So let's have the approved financial assistance agreement. Any discussion? None. Roll call. Shaw? Yes. Preble? Yes. Crisanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. <clears throat> motion passes. Make a motion to approve City of Edgerton Resolution 22-24, amend fee schedule to add a code enforcement reinspection fee in the amount of $75 for the first inspection and $100, $100 for the, the, the future ones. I'll second. Motion to second to approve city budget and resolution 2224. Any discussion? Is there any none? Roll call. Shaw? Yes. Preble? Yes. Crisanti? Yes. Candy Davis? Yes. Paul Davis? Yes. Burdick? Yes. Motion passes. Let's see a quick question. When will that take effect? Um, I was just, it, it's passed now, so it's in effect. I think what we will do, well, though, is make sure that anyone who receives a reinspection, if they haven't been forewarned that there would be a charge, we would not charge that until okay. they have been warned that if you don't comply, there will be a reinspection fee. Okay. So we will alert the contractor to that, so we're not catching someone. Off guard. Off guard. Good. Thank you. Well, why would we, uh, curiosity, I mean, we already warned them to get it done, and we get it done. Why would we say we're going to find you if you don't get it done? <laughs> I, mean, I, I think fairness in case that if, if they be advised that this is the uh, rule prospectively, so you are told now, get it fixed. If you don't, and we'll come out, and if it's not fixed by the time we come out the next time, you're going to get charged again. I, I think that would be appropriate. I mean, I'm ready to hear a lot of grumbling if we don't. Avoid yep. the grumbling. <laughs> Just and not fair. No, no I, I, I don't care if we hear that. We hear grumbling from the guys next door because they haven't done no, no voted for two months. Well, that's not a problem we find. All right, I, I get it. I get it. That's everything from finance. Thank you. Fire district. Fire well, district been handing out here. Would you mind passing that down? Uh, Chief couldn't be here tonight. He had another meeting. That's that um, I'm handing these out for the activities for the month. You will know on the back under the financials. You highlighted wanted me to um, explain in the little yellow call box total EMS for nine hundred and forty six thousand seventy six dollars. He is pretty, what he is stating is that is money um, billable. That's bills or charges that we probably will never be able to recover. Two thirds of that amount is from Medicare patients and one third of it is private insurance. So, and then the fire is 91,000. So as he said, that's probably something that the district will be through. 
or we have to figure out the way to pay back. So this this year, yes. So yeah. the new budget is a million dollars of revenue you're not going to get. Um, again, remember this kind of goes back to that what is the GEMT or that funding that was supposed to be re additional reimbursement that Medicare was obtaining that the federal government has put a stop on or hasn't really provided that until we know what's going to happen, whether it's the election or whatever, if they release that money. So at the time of budgeting, she thought that that money would be coming in, that reimbursement for the amount of money Medicare doesn't pay. Was it already paused at that time? No. It was, was well, was I, take that 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 I take that back. I take that it was it was that verbally that this funding would be available. The governor, right? The governor. And that's as far as it's gotten because I think the state legislature has put a halt on things. So, so we, we budgeted this million dollars based on, based on verbal, verbal and not correct. But if you um it's like we do all the time, right? We rewind to the beginning of uh, <clears throat> the nine hundred and forty-six thousand so I can hear it again. How much of that is going two thirds will be uncollected? No, all of it may be uncollected. Two thirds of that amount are people that are on Medicare, patients mm -hmm. that are on Medicare. Mm -hmm. And Medicare um, has made the decision to only pay a certain amount of medical bills. And that's where the government, the federal government said, because Medicare is capping what they will pay, we will provide the difference of what they used to pay and what they're paying now, but it doesn't happen. So two, three, two thirds of that 900,000 are Medicare patient patients. The one third of it are is private insurance. Um, and they, the district will go after those people with you know, continuous bills and phone calls, whether we get it or not, who knows. So we weren't sure this funding at the start of the year. Well, apparently he he was verbally he was calling on it. Who would have caught that? Uh, probably. Not. The bookkeeper probably wouldn't catch that. I um I, I have an update on that too, Chris. I yes. don't have any any experience in this whatsoever other than you want to be on the story in my head be no something in my head just saying that that's a big mess that is that's a big. huge well, swing in a mess on a verbal thing i don't think i'm sorry i, I don't know maybe it's normally done of course i'm not yelling at you no I know. maybe it's not maybe it's normally done because i don't know one way or another but i mean a million dollar Whiff on sorry for the people with the sports references, but um, a million dollar whiff on something that was kind of verbal, and the fact that it could be taken away like that, I think probably should have at least a little bit been foreseen. And we should have, I think, we should have had uh, here comes the gambling room, we should have hedged a little bit, um, on that because I think either somebody's eyes were completely shut. Or something. That's my opinion. That's where I'm and, thinking. And this is That's a big this is, mistake. This is total, right? So our portion of trying to make up this would be 60% of the 50%. Is that is my math? Is, is that right? Since we since our, our side is 50% and Edgerton makes up 60% of that, is that right? No, Edgerton um 30%. 34 percent, 33 34%. Mm -hmm. of the total. Uh, well, 34% of the West District, the West. Oh, okay. The is this, West. Is this the West. entire district, the yellow numbers here, or is this and the West side? I, that I don't know. I think it's the entire. And the reason why I say that, Chris, is because he stopped in with these and right. really for a meeting. So I, I just saw this a few minutes it's ago. It's just one side. Yeah, I mean, the whole budget. So, am I looking at the adjusted expenses of 3.3 million? That's what I was going to say. 
and we're I believe that that's both. It's the whole. It's the whole. And I know no, you think it's, it's both sides. I think. I think it's both sides. Yeah. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. Is there any way we can check with other emergency services that rely on Medicare and the potential of the replacement to see mm -hmm. if it happened to them? I mean, if, if this is something that. If this is something that is happening all over the place because they're expecting this money, well, what, be what, all over what, what that would mean, Chris, I would say it's happened all over. It's a matter of whether other emergency services budget mm -hmm. exactly. That's what I mean. But yes, if they would like to know about that, yeah. Um, so I, I'll give that some thought. I want to continue to yeah. put does this say that the total revenue with levy and over hires is 3.6? The total revenue is 1.2. And those numbers are, we're going to miss those numbers by a million dollars. So a third of the total revenue, or the total revenue levy and over hires, we're going to miss. I guess the question if this is the West Side budget and this is the whole district, then maybe it isn't a third. But I, Thing isn't up top, it says east and then it says west. So then I find out that the total revenue is for both. The uh, I would see it that way too. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see because it, under total revenue, yeah. you see levy east, levy west. So total revenue and levy plus over hires that would be for east and west. Yes, that's mm -hmm. the entire yes. So that's just he wanted me to bring that. I did that. It's a town shop. Good plan. Good night. Good plan. Now we're going. I was going to say, it's got to be the GND. I haven't been here either. Oh, yeah. That was good. Um, more to come on that, folks. Yeah. And we really started considering paying for buildings and staff. I know. And I will admit to, I think it was two meetings ago, I again, I can't remember if it was going where after, but I did say, I have to say this, I've got concerns about the buildings and paying all the operating costs for additional buildings and staffing. I just need to put that out there. Well, I get no response and I, whatever, I don't expect a response. I just wanted to put that out there. But, um, I'm one one person, one voice, one whatever, but I just feel compelled that I have to say it because we're struggling now. We're going to have more operating costs mm -hmm. because of additional buildings. You're looking at having a building with nobody staffing. That's what you're looking at. We still have to pay the operating the costs. They are station. Uh, no, we need to buy any equipment, any trucks. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be able to buy any trucks. Uh, from what we're told, we won't need more equipment. Well, I don't need for the new buildings. I mean, to replace the ones that are. Oh, for, for, for replace them. Yeah, I mean, around the way. <laughs> yeah. Well, here's the thing, and that's, and I don't undermine that, but you're right, but that's borrowing. I'm even concerned, which isn't good to continue to borrow, but I'm concerned about the day to day operating that we base our budget on. If we, the day to day operating, we can't put it operating. Mm -hmm. You know, people leave uh, because they're not getting paid. Uh, you know, I don't know how we're going to do it. And I just want everyone <laughs> here to know that I have voice that, that it's, it, I'm not <laughs> saying we don't need better building <clears throat> here in Edgerton. I'm not saying that we don't have the growth in Fulton. We do. Um, and I don't know what the ready answer is, but I, I have concerns right now. Yeah. We're not being, if we're running mm -hmm. short now, how are we ever going to make it with the other buildings? The, the building people uh, committee or whatever, though, they are kind of shaping here and there a little bit in their meetings. But when you're looking at $40 million, we're just up a couple of thousand here and there and right. making that big a change, but they think they are. Um, the staffing is what's going to be a big issue, but in, in reference to what we've been thinking of for a while now, they did approve at the last meeting. Um, there was a Baker Tillett to get the so the audit, the audit, audit to get yeah. the audit done. So, um, 
they hired the Wusida oh. Okay. Yeah. Um, to do the years 2021, 20, 22, and 23 auditing, which is what is needed for the USDA financing, which that would have been needed for it. Should have been done, period. No, for the board members. Right. Too. <laughs> well, yes. So we are having it's $53,648 to do the three years, um, which will then be, which from what we were told will be rolled into the bridge loan for the design development. Yeah. We're and I question that. We're borrowing money. We're borrowing for an audit. Yeah. And I question that. But <laughs> no, that's right. absolutely my yeah. plus the $25,000 for USDA filing mm -hmm. fee, which Lucida won't do, but another uh, firm does. I forget what the name that That was, um, that's another firm because Lucida doesn't do the USDA filing. We're, so, we're far enough away that we can stop those buildings. Yeah. <laughs> well, I shouldn't say it that correct. We're one voice now. Yeah. I and these time. numbers say they're going to stop our building. Exactly. Yeah. I, what the hell is being bored about it? Wake up and see what the hell's going on. You know? Well, <laughs> I will say also the board. Edgerton, um, well, Fulton, Fulton is um, right under Edgerton with what they pay. But um, there has been discussion. We'll have, I'll see how this goes of Edgerton paying more because they don't feel that Edgerton is paying their fair share. Certain, certain, people. certain people are saying that. Um, I don't know who, it's just one person I'm hearing it from, it doesn't matter, I don't care. But that tells, and the only reason why I'm bringing that up is that that tells me among the smaller towns and communities, they too see that this is putting an ouch in their pocket or what they have to pay, all of this. And so how can they continue down this road and by have somebody else paying more of the money. Does that make sense? I don't know if they explain that right. Most of it. Uh, close to it. No, not a million. Um, anyways, I'm, we're fighting that. I shouldn't say we're fighting it. It's not really come to the surface. It's just been um, words to me. And I'm going nowhere with it. I had conversations with Jen and heads so, up to Ramona, yeah, but what, nothing's going to get nothing's going to because it's right now it's based on equalized value. Period. This was just brought to you tonight. You had no idea this was coming prior to tonight. The, the board has no idea this is these numbers are out there. No, he's no, in Albion's no. meeting tonight, so he'll probably present it to the other communities. Meetings that he goes to. It'll be different numbers by next week when we have a. It's going to be different numbers. Yeah, we don't know. The, uh, that's why I don't ever get too awful excited because things yeah. change. Like, yeah. But things are awful. Less, but yeah. To make yeah. It. Well, the thing, the thing, the thing is that the board talks one way off, outside of that room, and then they talk a different way when they're well, actually. Or they don't talk, talk, talk at all. They're in the building. No, and they can't even yeah. the meeting for it. The discussion on us paying per call. A percentage of calls as opposed to equalized value hasn't come up with anybody except the chief and saying that he's been told by or asked by other people to look into it. It only comes up every time we bring up an audit or why are we so far in the hole with IFT? And then if we it need comes up to uh, these other places, hey, you don't have to pay so much if you got Edgerton to pay more. You know, if you guys can afford it, we sounds like a distraction to me. It is a, it's, it, it, it's, it, it's a total it's because it only comes up. Um, and I have talked, I've talked to him before about why he's, he's only bringing these up and he's changed numbers three times. You know, we've gone from paying 5% to 7% to 9% per hour. It just changes every time you do it. But he only, like I said, it only comes up when he wants more money and they don't want to pay it. 
Oh, well, we'll get it from Edric then. If we did this, we could get Edric and we're going to have more from Edric. You wouldn't have to pay more. Yeah. Instead but of them saying, people. no, we have to stay within our budget, maybe we can't afford the new building. Please, like, okay. Just, okay. Have okay. Edric for okay. you, you should You should come to one of these meetings. You know, it's not like, gosh, it's just crazy. Everybody. They make mm -hmm. um, the but that's I mean we're we're digressing, but yeah, that's the way we're the good news is the audit the auditing firm has been hired. The auditing firm has been hired for the three years. They will be at the department the first week in October. I'm starting to pull stuff together for them as far as like minutes or members information, minutes, that kind of stuff. Um and they're working on the rest, but Auditing will be done. And then they, and I will stay on top of this one, I swear it will, but it was before, but um, that at the end of this audit for the USDA filing, they will see how this auditing firm does to see if we're going to hire them for going forward for the audit. Because they want to see how they did. So I'm okay with that, but we will build into the budget this year for. The, for auditing to be done next year, whoever we decide to do it. So um, I do make that a promise that I will see that on the line item and um, will continue at each board meeting. Are those we open hires. They did. My, right? Are those open records? The audits? Oh, yes. Sure. Sure. My, yeah. they, they got Our team gets one. We will, you guys get a copy of it when they check. I don't know, you probably don't remember. It's it's open. Open. It's been one for a while. Brian, uh, Brian I can make sure you, every one of you get a copy of it if you'd like. Brian, Brian brought it up and then they'll budget it, get it in, and get he because the, the one figure we got is for three years worth, so it's absolutely out there. It's a high, a high number. But he told them how much they pay the same company. And Chief said, Well, it's only a couple of grand more than that, but that's what we don't. He wouldn't come up with it, but all of a sudden, after he's questioned, yes, we've been looking at budget. This is how much it's approximately going to be. So we'll see if it actually happens in a month or two. Um, but he did want to go on record as saying how offended he was at the out and out lies that there wasn't hasn't been a budget performed in years because he has a, a certified public accountant look at those records every month. And while we're at it, can you guys, but, but while we're at it, can you guys loan us seventy five thousand dollars to get three years worth of budgeting or audit? That we yeah. have to so, have done for the USC. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and that's the guy. Oh, He's yeah. it was... We would say he hasn't had an audit, but. Six minutes later, he's asking for seventy some thousand dollars to do a three year audit for USDA requirement. You but had, he you was you either had one or you have it. <laughs> and he said and he have. was offended that it was no, out there. They, they, they they had 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 not. And Jim, nobody says anything. Nobody says anything. So I can't say I don't get where the committees are coming from. Because then there's more money than four numbers. Because you don't get it. Anyway. Well, so I don't know why I took a couple months off. I just yeah, I can't, no, right. I can't go to these things. Um, so what you said the folks won't get it. If I if I uh, um CPA did it say CPA or did it, what did they call it? It's, oh. uh, no accountant. <clears throat> accountant, I think that's what he said. The reckons the this guy reconciles. Yeah. It means that. Yeah. Yeah. It means that. Yeah. 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 Okay, so the audit, good news, <laughs> auditing is going to take place. Because just so you know, if they do, if he does try and get something changed, it'd have to be an IGA change to get yes. the charge to charge us. And it would be considerable more than what we're paying now than what Edgar is paying if he if he's doing what he's doing. Almost a hundred grand. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that depends on which figure he's showing exactly. us. Yeah. Oh, I know. I'm the same case the last number I saw. <clears throat> but it would take a change. He's trying to, he says to Pandy, let's just do a little memorandum and do it on the side. Let's not yes. involve everybody. Why the uh, hell would we do that? I, I, and I will tell you that, no, we won't do that. And if it ever comes up to that, I will, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the board. You're going to have to find somebody else. 
There's no way I can do it. Every I'll go on it. I'll go on it. Yeah. I'm doing everything I can. Every time kind of whispers in my ear about it. I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, so our next board meeting okay. is September 12th, if anybody's interested. <laughs> um, it's, it's Thursday, September 12th at 6 o'clock. Yeah, let's get here. No, um, it's at the fire district. Fire department uh, at the headquarters. Uh, yeah. So we have black park. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I believe. That is if for fire district, unless anybody else has any questions. Well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> well, how many resignations have happened now in the next couple of days when this comes out? Okay, uh, let's go to the planning commission. Um, we got one item we got to act on. Planning division there. Oh, they'll see me out. I'll make a motion to make <laughs> ex approve the extraterritorial land division for that guy there to correct it. They send him on Pierce Road, section 26 of town of Albany. Right. I'll give a second. I think that's the old landmark. Who seconded that? Uh, mm -hmm. Paul. Okay, motion a second to approve the land division. Any discussion? Any none? All those in favor, same five saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Well, we didn't have anything else to bring forward or mention by planning, did we? Not to bring forward, but we had that little chit chat with that group. Oh, yeah. Concept plan. Concept plan. You had to think of what we call it. Concept plan. Newville Street. Or Newville Street, you know, that group from Newville Street showed up and all over. The idea is over there to see what we would be acceptable for. Or what we would be doing. Exactly. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Went over, yeah. Just the concept idea of what we would be <clears throat> accommodating with and stuff. What's the next steps for that then? There'll be a, a next public hearing, middle of September. There'll okay. be a small piece of that development on the agenda. The the real meat of it won't be on this next agenda okay. going to be in October. That's when the public hearings and all of that. Is okay. Good. That was about it for more. Uh, so, uh, anything to bring forward from Zoning? Engineering is nothing to bring forward. Okay. Personnel. Yeah, personnel met this evening. Um, the the WPPA union came forward with the request, um, which is always a good thing, actually. Um, in this in this case, um. For changes to help in the hiring process for good people, good staff. So, mm -hmm. with their recommendation, um, and with Chief and staff's recommendation, um, the personnel committee met and approved. Um, so, I will make the motion to approve WWPPA contract amendment. Um, which is for police hiring, police lateral hiring policies, which is stated in the staff report that's in your packet, with the, any appropriate forms, whether it be a side letter or the MOU, whichever one of those two is decided in a way to handle this. I'll make sorry, I'll second. The motion to second to, move the, to approve the contract amendment. Any discussion? Hearing none. Oh, well. Andy Davis? Yes. Shaw? Yes. Paul Davis? Yeah. Burdick? Yes. Peebles? Yes. Presanti? Yeah. Motion passes. Mayor, all the person and staff reports. Um, Chili Mania this weekend, Friday and Saturday night. Ramona and I toured the uh, 210 project today. Man, there's a lot of work going on there. That makes some progress. Right. Uh, both the top fours are pretty much praying out. Uh, we're going to be doing electrical, most of the plumbing's in. There's actually shower stalls set already. And they must have done some more work since we were up there because that stairway's all closed now that we went out. It was wide open today. So they are doing work out there. Um, school's in session. 
and I'd like to thank Tri County Paving, Rock Road, Payne and Dolan, and Yeskies for getting these streets done so that people can get to school without having to deal with construction going on. So. I tell you that Stoughton Road is one beautiful piece of road, especially. I say that personally from walking kids across the street. There's no, um, I'm not worried about tripping into a pothole. But that whole road is beautiful. Right, told me paving was here like seven in the morning. The trucks pulled out of here at nine o'clock that night. Uh, same day hmm. when they did the mill. The next day they were out here earlier. I can't believe how quick it went. I mean, it was it was amazing to see it done. Is that a seven year, how long ago? Is that to the five to seven years? Five to seven, okay. Yeah. Or three to five. Hopefully long enough to get a grant for the sewer yeah, on the ground. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> um, Beautiful. That is all I have. Does anybody else have anything? Well, this question. Oh, this question needed, yeah. Uh, so I think options, so it's it's entirely up to you. We could do it at your next regular meeting on the 16th, but I think that still leaves us time. But then you have to commit to staying here for a longer evening. So um, usually those conversations, sometimes some people feel they're better to set them aside on a special night. So up to you, <laughs> options other than the regular meeting on the 16th, I think it is, would be next Monday, but we probably could start till seven because we have parks and utility. Um, or I think Wednesday evening on the city calendar, that is before, is it, Bill? Um, I think it is. Yeah. And that's although uh, th this month we're going to have to push it back. Yes, it's bad. Uh, I don't know off the top of my head, no. Oh, we'll be yeah. Yeah. 11. Yeah, no, we're, it's not uh, on the uh, We have to, well, uh, the starting budget, so capital, but probably the longer discussion is the discussion about the ARPA funds because we have to have those. Tied up, I'll say, by the end of the year, so we have some, you know, policy decisions to make us want to spend that remaining part of the plan. We have a bit of a do we have any sense of that? Well, it's actually not a correct thing. Not at this point that I know. Yeah, and it, it's the second meeting of the month, usually a shorter agenda. We don't have all the uh, um, reports or what we've got. Well, yeah, the fire was for somebody on the first year. That's that's this one. So we yeah, yeah. that's what we get now. Um, I'm Karen Alton. I suppose if we had a um, special meeting, an hour with an hour, hour and a half, and would we get through quite a bit, and then maybe finish up on the sixteenth or pick up on the sixteenth? Yeah, I I, I don't know. Maybe is sufficient. And again, I, I don't care either way. I just want to we need a plan. We're going to have a special meeting next week because we have all the tours to get on. Well, having said that, is anybody totally against being here a little longer on the 16th? I'm game for it. Let's be let's 16th. 16th. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, we got the information out early on. There we can always take another meeting in later that week and if we have enough time to notice one. Yeah. Change the change the function after nineteen. Thursday. Thank you. <coughs> Anyone else? What's next? What's the term looking for? Maybe we'll look at the term. Second. In the second day of term, all those in favor, see the button, say aye. 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 Opposed. Opposed. Thank you.